at 40 minutes in, the cornbread is not even done yet. It is cooking, but it's cooking slowly. It's up. Very nice. Beautiful. The uh, crumb and everything still coming out perfect. This batch of cornbread was way better than it was back at 9,000 feet. Even at 12,000 feet, you can't stop me. <laughs> that view. It's beautiful. Well, I'm feeling the altitude. I hope the chefs aren't feeling it too I badly. Know. Quite nice. Not a bad place for dinner. I don't do this every day, no. Okay. no. <laughs> they were practicing doing your walkthrough at 9,000 feet, right? I was very impressed with what they were doing. I worked in the Alps in Courchevel, and that's 18,000 feet. Oh, 18,000 feet. Yeah. This is like my sour component. Mm -hmm. Everything's like <laughs> sweet and savory. It's Needs tart. To, it's tart to balance out my pepper jelly, which is going to be really sweet and spicy. It kind of feels weird today to step out of what I've known as fine dining. Ooh. I haven't cooked southern food in, in years. Oh, yes. Mamma mia, baby. I think Art Smith would be really happy with this dish. But he'd probably still yell at me. <laughs> Hi, hey, Joe. How How's it going? Hi, right. Joe. How about? Thank you. Joe, tell us what you made for us. Today I did a pork loin that I braised in buttermilk over a pea, sorrel, and scallion puree, a little pepper jam on top, and my baked component is the goat cheese buttermilk drop biscuit. And how was it making the biscuits? Did you encounter any challenges? Last night they were a little too dense. I uh, cut the flour a little bit, and I was pretty happy with how they came out today. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. How do you think Joe did with the baking element? I think the flavor is very nice. Yeah. I would have called it a crumble rather than a biscuit. The red pepper works quite well with it, and you do actually get a nice texture. You know, that's what I liked about Joe's dish. It was a lot of different textures. I like that the peas were raw. I, did too. I think it actually worked, yeah. Joe's dish had a nice balance of salty, sweet, sour, bitter. I think Joe did a good job with the low country and sort of elevating it. They and matched it. Yeah. And it was. Yeah. Yeah. She's copying. <laughs> it was my idea. I invented cornbread. I don't call myself fine dining, but we also do chef's tasting menus at my restaurant. So I'm a little fine dining, but I'm not stuffy fine dining. I'm going to channel my inner Libra and make this beautiful dish, and I'm going to nail it. So today we have a Wagyu ribeye. I served it with spring vegetable, foie gras, and a honey cornbread. What happened with the pie choice? I thought a lot about it, and I didn't think it's smart to make beef wellington for like the most famous English chef ever. Thank you, Carrie. You're welcome. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.